Hello, thank you for shopping at Floor Mart. How may I help you? Here was Pop and Dog. I'm just here to purchase this item. Okay, let me get you rung up. So, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Good. That'll be two ninety nine. So like two dollars and ninety nine cents. Two ninety nine? No, two hundred and ninety nine dollars. Oh, oh. Yeah, all I got is a five. Well, you'll have to come back another time, I guess. Or you could pay with a check or a card. Yo, you mean like my library card? Mm, no, more like a credit or debit card. Oh, I don't got one of those. Well, you'll have to come back then. Can't you like just take the five? I'm sorry, but I can't. Yes, you can. I'm sorry, did you not hear me the first time? I can not take the five. Yes, you can. On what reasoning? The customer is always right. Not in this situation, they're not. The key word is always. The key word is, you're wrong. Can you get your manager up here right now? Well, yes, I can. Excuse me, Mr. Smolton, we have a customer disturbance at checkout five. All right, thank you. What seems to be the problem here? He thinks I'll give him this for five dollars. Well, of course you won't. Thank you. Because you're fired. What? Why? Mr. Smolton, please! Haven't you ever heard the saying, the customer is always right.